Well, residents in the Pacific island nation of Tonga are picking up the pieces after the most powerful cyclone in its history wreaked havoc on their kingdom. And a state of emergency is still in effect for Tonga. Let's get the details with Tom Sater. How's it looking? Pretty uh, a lot of damages? Yeah, I think they're in shock mm. right now. This was not to get this close to them. Uh, they've never had one this strong in their history, equivalent to a cat came with a gust equivalent. So the sound broke up there, but he was saying it's the equivalent of a Category 4, Category 5. It had winds of 270, some reports said 278 kilometers per hour. So that's borderline Category 5 in the Australian system. It's a Category 4 in the American, Category 4 hurricane equivalent. So, 4 or 5 with a gust equivalent to a five. Wow. Uh, two years ago, Winston devastated Fiji, uh, about the same strength, but this one, the outer bands just lashed Tonga. So a lot to talk about. Let's take a look at the photos. First of all, the heavy rains occurred in uh, Samoa, in American Samoa. We're getting photos from there. Red Cross uh, went out and pre-positioned aid where they thought they were going to need it. This is the time of year, though. It is the cyclone season in the South Pacific Basin. It's been relatively quiet. In the last couple of days, we we're watching two systems, but this one grabbed all the energy season November through April but we're in the peak right now through February on average the number of cyclones is about six to ten in this basin uh, when you get closer to New Caledonia and over toward even Fiji uh, and where we are in Tonga it's about two to three but this one's going to go down in history this developed stealing the energy from the other one that was close to a, a formation alert and as you look how close it came the capital of Nukalafa uh, this is where most of the people live now when you talk about the uh, the kingdom of of Tonga, there's 169 islands. 36 are inhabited, 107,000 residents, but 70% of them live right there near the capital, which has been devastated. As this moved through, it didn't take a direct landfall, but it doesn't get much closer than this. And if you look at history, in gray here is going outward from the main island, about 150 kilometers. Back in the 90s, they had a couple that are equivalent to Category 3 hurricanes, but nothing quite like this one. It did make a little bit of a lift northward that may have saved them, but take a look at the video that we're getting in now. We know power is completely gone. We know water has been lost. We know communication is down. The Met Department in Tonga lost their radar and along with the roof of their building. This building here is the capital's parliament house, completely destroyed. We're getting reports now that at least 40% of all the homes in the capital are damaged and lost their roofs. Still waiting assessment on any injuries and or fatalities. It's just after, uh, in the morning hours, about 11 o'clock in the morning. And 24 hours ago, a state of emergency was put into place. So the system's going to move south of Fiji. It'll, yes, it'll give them a little bit of rainfall, but nothing like they had in Tonga. Then it makes its way toward New Caledonia, possibly strengthening to a Category 5. But once it gets into the colder waters, we really believe this is going to lose some strength. But again, we're still going to have to watch this for the North Island uh, and even South Island in New Zealand. Because even though it may not be a, a cyclone uh, with this kind of magnitude, it's going to drop a lot of rainfall and really produce some heavy winds. This is the next system we talked about yesterday. Sanba is a tropical storm. Heavy rainfall in the mountains of Mindanao making a landfall here within the next couple of hours. It's only about 40 kilometers away now. As it moves across the southern Visayas, we'll be watching it to see if it makes its way toward the coast of Vietnam. But again, heavy rainfall in this region could drop another 150. We've already had reports of over 150 in Tonga. Some of those... Uh, uh, Reports could go as high as 200 to 250. That's a small uh, target to hit in the South Pacific. Yeah. And so to get the assessment, we know that um, aid is coming in also from uh, New Zealand. They're sending a, an aircraft there. So we'll continue to follow. It's devastating. You need the aid, don't yeah. they? Tom, thank you, Tom. Thank you, Tom.